sending clues, I'm sending gratitude back. Cause the whole world outside, sun in my eye, a curl in my right. Hey y'all, good morning. It is Monday and it's been a hectic Monday so far, hence why I'm still in my robe. Um, but for those of you who are new to my channel, hi, my name is Tahita. I am a compliance analyst as well as a content creator here on YouTube and on Instagram. I have my liners in, so if I'm talking funny or I'm talking with a lisp, that's why. Um, shout out to all of my subscribers. Y'all are the real MVP. Y'all know I love you. Um, but yeah, good morning. I <laughs> I decided to jump on here and give y'all a little FaceTime even though I'm not fully put together because I feel I feel like either God is trying to tell me something or I feel like my girl is trying to set some stuff up and let me give y'all some background so I'm sorry if the lighting is going in and out by the way it's, it looks bright but I also see gray clouds I don't know Anyways, um, <laughs> um, yeah, so y'all know, if you've watched my previous videos, that I have been, you know, off and on struggling with my mental health, and I think a major, I, want, I don't even want to give it too much weight, but a part of that is the fact that I, as much as I am surrounded by my fiance and I'm surrounded by his family, I really don't have any of my own family in the state anymore that I am close with. Let me be <laughs> transparent. Um, you know, and my friends are scattered. So I have a friend in LA, a friend in Nashville, um, and then my really good girlfriends are in Belize. And I have one really good friend that's in Illinois, in the Chicagoland area, but we're so spread out that we got to set like dates to meet. It's not like, hey, what you doing Friday night? Let me come over. It's not like no 20 minute drive. So, um, you know, it's it's become, especially after the panorama, I've become very secluded and isolated and I don't get out much. And I think that's a part of what suppresses any effort to get out of my depressive episodes. It's just the fact that I'm always locked up in the house. I don't do anything. I don't go anywhere. Um, and my friends know this. And one of my friends specifically, we met up with a college schoolmate or girlfriend um, in January that lives here in Chicago, probably about 10, 15 minutes away from me. And we exchanged numbers and we're like, oh, we're going to keep in touch and yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. And um, she has been telling me, my friend in LA has been telling me, oh, you should reach out to this friend and hang out. And I'm thinking to myself, that would be great. But it's a new thing for me. As an introvert, as someone who is used to routine, I get major anxiety when my routines change and when I'm doing something quote unquote different or with different people. Um, so as much as I would like, the opportunity to reconnect and get out the house and, you know, grow friendships. I'm also very much stuck in my way. So anyways, I say all this and I haven't even told y'all what happened. So I get a random text from our friend today, just checking in. And then she ends off like, well, she hasn't ended off because we're still just texting back and forth. She's like brunch or dinner soon. And I'm like instant anxiety because I'm like, I have to hang out with somebody that I, I never really hung out with period let's put it that way I mean yeah we've been in situations at school and stuff and she's cool with my people and she's hung out with my people but me and her ain't never really hung out with so instantly I get anxious and it's not because I don't know her and I don't like her or nothing like that it's just a new situation that I gotta put myself in and I'm just like all I'm all in my feels right now I'm like freaking out a little bit to be honest but I, I want to know so I have to ask my friend and hopefully she is honest with me but I want to know, is this a sign from God? Tell me, girl, get out the house. You need it for your mental health. I need you to get out um, and start reconnecting with people and being more social. Um, I, I want to know if that's a genuine you know, sign from God or if my friend just really wants to help me and did it that way instead. 
because then I'm gonna have to tell her off because now I feel awkward. <laughs> But yeah, that's what's going on. I'm probably gonna run some errands during my lunch. I gotta go to the grocery store, so. I'm already tired of the house today, y'all. Okay guys, so I got myself semi together. Um, I'm probably gonna throw a cap on. I'm just, this is, I'm, I'm probably gonna go back to wigs this week because I, me dealing with my own hair, I, it's just not, it's not the look for me right now. <laughs> um, but anyways, I, I'm trying to decide whether or not I wanna start this project or, or attempt to um, work this case or if I wanna wait till after lunch. The only thing is, after lunch I have two calls so I don't know who's gonna be available to help me with this because with this particular type of case, with this particular type of case, I need someone to QA for me. So I don't know who, you know, I don't know everybody's availability. And the thing is the people that I usually used to use to QA have either gone to another, they've either gotten another job or they're role has been limited due to the transitions um or to the transition of these different tasks to different departments so <sighs> i'm all over the place but yeah that's what i have going on i'm actually probably about to leave out in about 10 minutes um because i do have a one o'clock call and i don't want to be late so i want to just go get it over with come back and then kind of decompress before i start getting into my calls and i think in between calls, I'll probably, because I have a one o'clock and I have a two o'clock, um, in between those calls, I'll probably set up my cases for QA. That way, if I do get somebody who's available, they don't got to wait on me. We could just jump right into it. But yeah, that's what I have going on. I will check in with you guys a little later. make my way back and be on my call at one I gotta turn this air off it is not <laughs> it is not summertime no more it felt like it um a week ago now nah, we back to like fall temperatures I can't even really say spring because I think spring is more like at least for me in, in my in what I remember um at least in my opinion, spring temperatures to me is like 60, 60, 70, but it's usually like rainy. This ain't, this ain't it, this is fall. So I'm about to leave Mariano's now. I was going to go shopping for myself because I didn't go shopping this weekend, but I got in there, sorry y'all are crooked. I got in there and I just did not feel like doing the most. <laughs> I lit I literally was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, get what I really came here for and bounce. And that's exactly what I did. So hopefully, maybe by the time I, I'm done, I mean, by the time I'm done for the day, um, I get some energy and then I'll go to Trader Joe's and do my shopping. The only thing I got for myself really were flowers because I love having fresh flowers in the house. Um, and, and I didn't have any since last week and I'm like, 
just in case I don't make it to Trader Joe's. Let me see if they had any, and they did. They had, um, it's more expensive than Trader Joe's, I'll say this, but I'll pay the little extra just so I can have what I want, because knowing me, my butt would have pushed it off and probably not gone to Trader Joe's for like another week or so, so. Got my flowers, like I said, just gonna debate on whether or not I'm gonna order groceries later. Um, or, um, I was just saying, I don't know if I'm gonna, I don't know where I'm gonna go after work today. I might go to Trader Joe's, I might go to the grocery store that's actually closer to the house, or I might just go to the small one, the little, uh, little ethnic grocery store that's near the house as well, so. We'll see. We'll see. Of course my battery's flashing, but anyways, just came up came to the living room for a change of scenery because the sun starts setting. Um, well, it's not even setting, it's just changing position so it's no longer directly over us. It's moving towards the west, right? Yeah, it's moving. <laughs> I had to think about it, like the sun sets in the west. Yes, it does. Anyways, um, it's moving to the west and my office faces the west so the sun gets really, really bright and the light gets in my eyes and I start getting a headache. So. I'm gonna start making it a habit to move to the front or move somewhere else so that the light's not directly in my eyes. But anyways, I'm a little bit over um, at work today just because I had a ton of stuff to do and I have a couple things that I did not get done. So just gonna finish that up and then I, then I gotta move on to what's for dinner. No clue. Good morning, y'all. It is Tuesday. Um, and I am at work. I'm actually waiting on the plumber to get here. I'm not sure if I mentioned to you guys last week, but our basement had some leaks and um, he came and he fixed the leaks, but he didn't put things back how they were supposed to be. And now we don't have any cold water supply to our washing machines. So I can't do any uh, clothes, like I can't do any cold loads and I can't do any warm loads because the cold water is not there to um, mix with the hot water to make it warm so waiting on him then I'm going to do a few loads of laundry I, I'm debating on whether or not I want to wash my hair y'all it's so it's cold outside and I'm also lacking energy it's super gloomy I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, um, I have that on my mind as well. I have been trying to figure out how to get myself back into the groove of creating content. I've been, and not only creating it, but editing it and scheduling it because I had two reels or footage for two reels that I recently edited and scheduled. So, but I've been sitting on those for like weeks. Literally, I've been sitting on those for like weeks. So if you're not following me on Instagram, my handles will be on the screen. So beauty in the kinks. Um, I'm just trying to get back into the groove and it's so hard. I don't know what it is. Um, at one point I was killing it. Weekly cocktail, uh, I almost said cocktail menus, cocktail recipes. Um, you know, sharing my day-to-day -day lifestyle type videos. And now it's like crickets over there. It's crickets. So. <sighs> Is that? Okay, thank goodness. Um, I'm sorry. I'm also expecting that our handyman slash family friend is going to come and take a look at this leak that I have in my kitchen. I don't. I don't want him to come right now. <laughs> I'm not I'm not in the mood to have anybody in the house and around me. And I get like that sometimes. Like uh we have a, a lady that that cleans for us and when she comes there's just some days where I'm like I I know 
I know I'm paying you to do this. I know you're being uh, of service to me and you're helping me, but I don't really want to be around people right now. I'm weird like that. I'm such an introvert um, nowadays. But anyways, I've just been rambling. Let me go ahead and get back to work. And then after this plumber gets here and does what he needs to do, I'll probably get myself together and maybe, maybe try to create some content. We need to prioritize on the top of uh, the issues, right? So uh, because of that, uh, we need to leave one of the escalated uh, Okay. Good morning, y'all. It's Wednesday, and I am at work I have so much work to do and I'm tired I'm kind of drained um, I haven't been feeling my best physically so work is not fun <laughs> um, but yeah I have probably 10 cases and I these are probably one of our most important case types but I absolutely hate them or hate working on them because it requires additional QA. Like I have to bug somebody else in order to complete this case and I hate that about this. I like wish we could revamp the um, case itself so that we don't have to bug somebody else. We could simply just get somebody to QA. Like I don't know how to put it like get the system to QA, get something but me having to stop so ugh. basically think about it this way if there's five people with the same title as me or same function i should say um if three of them happen to be out on pto and it's only me and some other other person could you imagine me coming on here telling y'all i'm swamped and that person having to stop me in my tracks so that i could help them QA a case like it just it doesn't seem like an efficient use of time and so I don't really like that <laughs> but I gotta get it done nonetheless and it's just a lot of them so on top of me not liking this process and the fact that I will have to bug somebody um, at some point I also I also think the systems are down <laughs> so Oh, and this is this is the case type with the shortest SLA. This is this is the the case type where we really have to try to get it done ASAP. Do I have my phone? Cuz I re I ended up restarting my computer hoping that that's going to assist with um you know, making the changes that I need done. Um so hopefully it's my computer and not the system being down, but we'll see. I do think I need some caffeine. It's almost, it's like 11 o'clock, so it's almost lunch, but I'm definitely not walking out. Just like I said, I don't really feel up to it. Um, okay, yeah, I don't really feel up to it, so I, I'm not going to go. But yeah, just checking in on this bright Wednesday. I think it's kind of maybe 400, 400 degrees, y'all where how am i alive it's in the 40s i don't know where i got 400 from but it's in the 40s anyways let me try to get some work done within this hour and then i will check in with you guys a little bit later coming in from a weird angle don't know why but Lola's been acting weird for those of you who don't know Lola is my dog but she's been acting super duper weird I don't want to be licked okay I'm just trying to give you some love you're not feeling good today no yeah she just hasn't uh, uh, <laughs> she hasn't been her normal 
happy-go-lucky self. She's more been a little needy and whiny. I just got done eating my sandwich for lunch too, so it might be that she's expecting to get some of that, and she didn't, so she's being spoiled. But can can I put you back in your bed now? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna put you back in your bed. Um. Yeah, so I'm looking hella weird. Hold on. I'm trying to see if I can get y'all at a better angle with better light. So I'm looking very weird. I actually did a wash and go. And for my naturals, y'all know a wash and go ain't really a wash and go. It's a wash and detangle and add product and shingle and all that extra stuff. It's not, you never just wash and go. But anyways, um... Did that. I just have it up so that it's out of my face. I'm about to fix my face while I jump on this call in 10 minutes. Um, and then, I don't know. I, I I I ate that sandwich and I instantly felt weird. Am I? Hold on. I don't know. I feel like you guys... I feel like I might be a little washed out. I'm not washed out, like dark. So I'm just adjusting the settings a little bit I think that's a little better but yeah like I was saying I um I don't know my mood kind of flipped on me just now I woke up so ambitious that's why I did a wash day on a Friday morning <laughs> um and did my hair and I don't know if it's because <clears throat> that took a lot of energy out of me and I already feel like I don't have a lot but my mood kind of shifted so like I said, right now I'm just sipping on a Celsius. I actually put my Celsius in a wine glass because I'm like, I want to romanticize my life and I wanted to shift my mood. So I'm like, okay, put it in a wine glass, make yourself feel a little fancy. And then I was like, maybe hopefully the energy that I get from the Celsius um, can also boost my mood and the fact that I just, we deserve nice things on a regular basis. And nice things don't necessarily mean spending a lot of money on something. It means making making something nice for yourself or making something more appealing and appeasing for yourself. So I'm big on paper plates and plastic cups because sometimes we just don't feel like doing a lot of dishes in this house. I should say I don't feel like doing a lot of dishes in this house. But there are times where I want a really pretty meal. And so in order to do that, I want to take out my... Good, my good plates <laughs> so anyways I'm rambling at this point just wanted to check in for this Friday and then let y'all know what I'm doing I'll check in with you guys after my call <sighs> okay guys so uh, did a little something to my face my hair is still damp and shrinkage is the devil I um that's why I don't usually do washing goes I have worked hard for my length okay I have worked hard for, I think I'm at, I don't think I'm at hip. I'm probably still at about tailbone. I don't know, but I'm definitely down my back, okay? Yeah, I'm down my back. So, I feel like I worked hard for this length. I would like to show it off. At the same time, though, I understand that shrinkage is a sign of healthy hair. It means that your hair has held its elasticity um, and it means that your hair is holding moisture, at least on a deeper level. Because baby, on the outer level, my hair has been feeling very much dry lately. So I did uh, apply a mask to my hair today. Um, and now, like I said, after I did... The shingling method and all that good stuff. Um, I have it tied up because I need to stretch it because of shrinkage, one. And then two, I am the type of person, I don't really like all the hair all in my face. So that's kind of the main reason. Um, I think I'm about to go put on a load in the washer. Um, and then, yeah, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just chilling. I'm just chilling. <laughs> 
почему я ну так Весь white, я ж black, а не бьюк так Но и фейк от ти, то не топ рейти На билет with the best team Can I know be just ski, а мои все уйти На боли зим и лес, а мои бутылки Hey guys, so I'm actually on a call right now, but um, the call's not really for me. It's for, I think it's for newer employees or people who are newer to the role. And so it's a training and I kind of know, well, I don't kind of know, I know this stuff already. The only reason I still ended up tuning in is because I know we have added some additional reporting and I was thinking to myself, let me see if they're going to go in depth and share what you know that report the new report is all about i mean it's kind of self-explanatory but i just wanted to see if there was any nuances or anything new that i needed to know about the report so that's why i logged into the call but honestly it's uh i won't say it's a waste of my time because it's you know re reminding me of things i already know but um i could have missed it <laughs> i could have missed it and right now I'll tell you this, that Celsius, I think it gave me energy for maybe 10 to 15 minutes. 10 to 15 minutes. Because um, right now I am tired. I want to nap. And I still didn't put on my load. I still didn't put on my load of laundry. So I think, hold on, let me see who called me. Listen, hold on. I'm going to just go back and play because if y'all watched, I think it was my last video where I talked about, hold on. I don't remember if I talked about this in my last video. Let me change my camera position real quick just because I feel like I'm losing lighting a little bit. Yeah, I don't know if... I mentioned this in the last vlog. I know I talked about how I was sexually harassed um, by a stranger. If you haven't checked that vlog out, <laughs> check that vlog out. It wasn't anything physical, but it was virtual harassment. And yeah, I, I go into details on that. But that situation reminded me of a whole situation that I had with my phone number. So I changed my phone number about eight years ago. And yeah, eight, eight to nine years ago. And I inherited Mark's phone number. Mark is a man, obviously. Well, not obviously, because it ain't obvious no more. Anyways, Mark identifies as a man. And he identifies as a gay man. The reason I know this is because he had his phone number on a gay dating app. And I would get all types of explicit pictures at like the middle of the night and all types of crazy stuff. I'd get text messages asking me if I wanted to meet up, um, telling me that they're back in town. At one point I even got invited to Thanksgiving dinner, okay? Um, I was getting prescription reminders, like pick up your prescription, stuff like that. And the more, the most common uh, calls that I received were for one, jobs. Um, he used to obviously use his number and put it on his resume or when he's applying for these jobs. And so I would get the calls. And then on top of that, he owned a sex novelty store. And I don't know if it was, how should I put this? I'm not sure what kind of store he ran because I'm not used to a retail store being open at midnight because I was getting calls for that store asking if I was open. So I don't know if he was offering services. I don't even, I don't know. I don't know what to put, but just know that I inherited a phone number that got me harassed for years and is still getting me harassed. The whole reason I brought this up is because of this. Let me see if I can put it on speaker. Hey, Mark. 
hey mark this is arun with object driven technology i tried reaching it regarding a job opportunity we have a client a hospital engineer a job sir how are you applying for jobs and not putting your current phone number it's been 8 years <laughs> like come on but at least at least uh, at least the the random men texting and calling me at least that has stopped and thank god i was already with my current my fiance <laughs> the guy who's currently my fiance I was already with him then and he was with me as i changed my phone number so it's not like oh you know dang you out here you got men calling you no it's a brand new number barely got a chance to give it out and i was getting these calls so 8 years later i'm still dealing with calls and requests for mark you want to say hi you want to i mean you all up in the videos anyway you want to say hi to the people You tell me you feel better. You took you a long nap and now you feel better. Don't let me. This is my last attempt at this. If if I can't finish this portion of the vlog, we just going to shut it out where it was because at this point this is my 16th time trying to record and the only reason I say 16 is because just now I was talking and it wasn't even recording. <sighs> Happy Sunday. <laughs> Happy Sunday y'all. I wanted to come on here. I wanted to share with you guys. First of all, let me put some lip balm on because I feel like I feel I feel like my face is dry and I feel like my lips are dry especially. <sighs> I've been trying to come on here and just chat with you guys for a bit. I said I was going to um just share with you guys some tips that helped me get out of a depressive episode because I did have one yesterday. I feel like at this point it's I don't know. I don't know what to say because I'm being transparent, but I also don't want to be annoying because damn girl, you always going through something. <laughs> and it's true. It's and it's not it's not always something new, it's something reoccurring. It's things that I haven't dealt with, so um it triggers my feelings and then I be in my feels. So yesterday was really bad, but I ended up praying myself out of it and I decided today I just want to share a couple of the things that have helped me to get out of these, you know, downward slumps or these depressive episodes. Um like I mentioned last night I prayed myself out of it. I actually put on some uh gospel music and was talking to God. I was able to hear him through my mess. Um yesterday told me that he would never forsake me regardless of how things are showing up regardless of how down I might be feeling right now. I will he will never forsake me. So, um what I'm about to do is I'm about to put on some music. One of my favorite songs to listen to right now is Organized by Ashaki. I call that my theme song because he talks about basically owning who you are. knowing that you are wise knowing that you are in control of your life um and not taking crap from anyone else like that is kind of the basis of the song and i absolutely love that for him and for myself so i think that's what i'm about to play as i continue to edit um another thing that i will admit helps me is having a pet i know everybody can't have one but if you are able to First of all, if you like animals and if you're able to get around someone who has an animal that you can physically pet, um highly recommend it. I know studies have shown that it increases some sort of the happy hormones when you start petting an animal, so um recommend doing that because it has personally worked for me. Um and going outside. So if you get a chance to go outside especially since things are warming up, um go outside sit outside i cannot wait for things to become stable in chicago so that i can have a picnic outside i cannot wait till we put up our gazebo and we get our patio furniture so that i can start having like half days outside um i absolutely just definitely encourage you to if you can during your day take a break and go take in some fresh air and that warmth if you're coming out of winter like i am Um and yeah, get you some vitamin D from that sun girl. 
because it helps. So those are the main things that have been working for me right now. I'm pretty sure on screen I already put this is not medical advice. I'm not a healthcare professional. I am simply sharing my experience, okay? Um, but yeah, those are the things that have been helping me. Wanted to check in because, I, like I said, I know I come on here and I'm super transparent about my mental health. And you guys know in the past few weeks, I have really been going through it. Um, I think in part because I am going, in, I am in therapy and I'm going consistently. So as I go through therapy, I'm working through my stuff and my stuff gets me in my feels. So I just decided to share with you guys some of the things that I've been doing to cope because I don't want to be the Debbie Downer that every time I'm on here, y'all know I'm going through it. So. With that being said, let me edit. I don't think this is going to make it up today because I usually try to post on Sundays. But um, if anything, it's going to go up tomorrow by midday. And yeah, I do have a couple runs to make. So I will probably check in with you guys a little bit later. I can't tell you really what it is, but you got it. Make up in the morning, you got dresses in your closet. But you grab them tight, you in love with being modest. You a more body giving sin of fuse. I'm just saying I'm a mute. But you ain't even flexing. And you cool, tatted up, cover rooms, different vibe, you know ain't proof. But you ain't even flexing. And you ain't gotta try too hard. Number one fan, your side up, Lord. Got me think about inside them walls. Words cut deep, it's like a swat. Making me better, you hotter than pepper. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. With a big stepper who chasing a cheddar, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All of these women, they not on your level, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You like a mix of business and pleasure, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You a move, body giving sin of fuse I'm just saying I'm a mule, but you ain't even flexing Okay guys, so I, uh, I've been a bit productive I've edited, well not completely edited, but I was editing this vlog I started two loads of laundry um, folded a previous load of laundry that was just sitting in the basket, um, ran to Target, got back, cleaned up my kitchen a little bit, um, and now I am trying to edit the last bits of the vlog. As you guys would have just saw, I made myself a little margarita, even though it, it didn't blend well, it didn't blend well at all, so I think I need to replace that smoothie blender, because... It's just chunks of mango at this point. So there's that. Anywho, just wanted to check in to close off the vlog. I feel like I look absolutely nuts um, every time I look into the viewfinder, but I'm gonna grant myself some grace. I haven't had it easy this weekend and um, I may or may not. I'm gonna see how I feel. Uh, I may film a uh, in-depth nighttime skincare routine. I feel like my skin really needs the love. I really need to be pouring back into myself and giving myself some love. So um, I'm gonna grab my steamer, exfoliate, get all my serums, get my nighttime moisturizing cream. And maybe before I do my moisturizer, I might just do a mask. So might do that and pamper myself tonight. Not Like I said, I'm not sure whether or not I'm going to be recording it just because the lighting sucks and I don't really like using uh, the artificial lighting. So we'll see. If I don't end up doing it today, I'll probably try to do it sometime this week. I'll just do another one, maybe on Friday, depending on what I have planned. Yeah, that actually might make sense because I have the wedding on Saturday. So anyways, thank y'all so much for watching. As always, thank you for your love and support. Until next video. Bye, guys.